today in hockey history January 2, 1918, arena ice on fire. Shortly after the NHL was created, Montreal hockey suffered a huge setback. A fire broke out at the arena on St. Catherine Street and Wood Avenue in Westmount, a suburb of Montreal, around noon on January 2, 1918. The arena burned down that afternoon, displacing two NHL teams, five Montreal City League clubs, and a college team. All but one found new arenas and continued to play. The Montreal Wanderers instead became the first NHL franchise to fold. On the last day of 1898, the arena had opened almost precisely 19 years before. On December 19, 1917, it hosted the first NHL game. The Wanderers won 10-9 over the visiting Toronto Maple Leafs. That would be the Wanderers' only win in the NHL, as they had only appeared in three other games. Fortunately, despite a game between the Wanderers and the Canadians scheduled for that evening, there were relatively few people on the site at that time of day. The building superintendent, James McKean, who had been there since the beginning, had been eating supper with other family members when the firemen arrived. In fact, the only injury occurred when a spectator broke a leg slipping on the icy sidewalk. It is the largest fire that the firemen of Westmount have been called upon to handle, and we are grateful to Chief Tremblay, Deputy Chief Mann, and their men for the assistance they offered us, said Chief Moffat of the Westmount Brigade. When the arena burned to the ground, Shepard estimated the damages at $150,000. The building had cost $75,000 to build and was only insured for $50,000. Instead of playing a game that night, hockey leagues met to discuss their next moves. The City League arranged for a shift to Victoria Rink and a week's delay in the schedule. George Kennedy, the Canadiens' general manager, initiated plans to relocate the francophone NHL team to Jubilee Rink on St. Catherine Street in Maisonneuve, in Montreal's French-speaking East End. They would skate there until April of the following year, when it burned down as well. The Wanderers refused to try Jubilee Rink despite being told to do so because their English-speaking fans would not leave the West End. After a lengthy and stormy meeting of NHL directors at the Windsor Hotel on January 3, the Wanderers' resignation was not accepted. President Frank Calder gave the owner, S. E. Lichtenhain, 24 hours to reconsider. The Wanderers elected to default on the game scheduled in Toronto and formally withdrew from the NHL on January 4 despite offers from Hamilton to buy and relocate the franchise.